Finale of season two presents itself as a Chris-centric episode with most of the major themes revolving around Chris and his relationship with masculinity as well as exploring his relationship with Peter. This relationship is initially explored through Peter and other fathers in the neighborhood save for Quagmire as they decide to all take their sons on a camping trip. On this trip, Chris lacks an outdoor competency, especially compared to the sons of Joe and Cleveland. Due to this, Peter tries to make Chris into a more traditionally masculine young man. Peter first tries to accomplish this through forcing Chris to work at golf range as a golf ball pickup fella just so Chris can get used to getting hit by stuff. At this golf range, Cleveland Jr. proves himself to be a natural at golf. Peter's pride causes him to take Cleveland Jr. under his wing to help him nurture this golfing skill. Peter gets wrapped up with Cleveland Jr. and causes Chris to feel like Peter doesn't care about him. Due to this, Chris ends up seeking a fatherly figure through none other than Quagmire. This leads into an excellent series of bits with Quagmire taking Chris around Quahog and showing how the man himself does it. Chris has a really good line directed towards Quagmire, which is I don't think I like Pete as much as you do. This whole sequence is dope because it's just bit after bit of Quagmire on his creepy shit with Chris failing to be creepy cause he's a sweet fella, but it's still funny because Chris just fumbles every single line and the viewer can tell he is uncomfortable with the situation he is in. After this, Quagmire takes the 14 year old lead Chris to a fucking strip club. At this club, one of the strippers gives Chris a pep talk about how he should give Peter another chance and just start trying to seek out time with his father himself. After this, the episode concludes with Chris and Peter finding solidarity through hitting golf balls into the windows of cars. This episode stands out for a few reasons, the first of these being cast and character focus. Up until this point, Cleveland, Joe, Quagmire, and any other family have been rather minor characters. Even Chris at this point in the series fills a minor role in most episodes, so it was interesting to have that mixed up. Overall, I thought that Bobby Bowman had an interesting approach with how he wrote the unique relationship that Chris has with masculinity. There's also this recurring bit with Chris in which he has an evil monkey that follows him around and fucks with him. This is interesting to me for some reason, IDKY though. Oh well, GG, good episode, nice way to end the season.